With this tutorial, we're going to cover receiving inventory items into your QuickBooks point of sale system and then getting your vendors paid for those items. All right, so we're going to begin in QuickBooks point of sale, and I am using version 9.0 for this tutorial, and then I am using Enterprise Solutions 10.0 on the financial side. So where do we begin? Well, we begin with the ordering process. You, as the retailer, are going to be ordering from your vendors. So you order, and then what should happen next should be a purchase order should be created in QuickBooks Point of Sale. So we'll click on Make a Purchase Order from the main screen, and we'll enter our vendor, Jones in this case, and we'll begin to add items to the purchase order. And these are items obviously that we have sold before because they are available in our item list. So now we've got these two items like I said that we've sold before but let's add an item we have never sold before. So we'll click our drop down list and then we'll click add new. And this opens up the new item template. We'll give it a department and we'll give it a name You can add your order cost at this time, and if you know what you're going to sell it for, you can add that as well. So we'll click Save and Select, and this puts that new item onto our purchase order. We'll put the order quantity on, and now we have a purchase order for Jones with a value of $6,315. We'll save this. And now some time passes, it's been a couple of weeks, and the order from Jones shows up. All right, so now we're going to receive those items into inventory. So let's click on Receive Items. And from Vendor is going to be Jones. And as we tab through, Point of Sale is going to give us a message that we have open purchase orders. Do we want to receive against them? We do. We're going to select our purchase order. In this case, everything we ordered came in, so we'll click Receive All Due. And now it's at this point where having the purchase order comes in handy. If you've created the purchase order prior to the item showing up, then you put in the system what you expect to show up. The item you expect, the quantity you expect, and the cost that you expect. If you wait until the items show up before you make any entry into the system, you're going to be entering from a, a document that's provided to you by your vendor saying, here's what you order. Now, those two things are not always going to be the same, so it would be nice to have a control document for you to know what you ordered, what you thought the cost was. The other good thing about the purchase order is it will open orders. Had we not received all of our items, we could do, have done a partial receipt, and then the other items would have remained on order. So if most of our items showed up today, we could enter them, and then we may have a straggler over the next day or so. We'd still have that in our purchase order system uh, as we were waiting on those. So in this case, we're going to say everything showed up, the quantities are all right, the items are okay, and the cost is okay. So we're going to save this, and when we save this, we've now updated our inventory with both quantity and cost for those items. Now the point of sale side of this transaction is done. What we need to do now is we need to talk to the financial side and say, hey, we've got some inventory in and we've got some bills we've got to pay. So we'll click Financial and Update QuickBooks. All right, now we're in Enterprise and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on Pay Bills and you'll notice there are no bills in here. It's because point of sale doesn't create the bill for you. It creates an item receipt. And then when you receive your invoice, which sometimes may be a day or two or even a week after you receive the items, then we'll create a bill for that. So now you've got your invoice. So what you would do is you would click Enter Bills Against Inventory. So we'll find our vendor, Jones. Here's our item receipt. And here are the items that we have a, a bill for from our, our vendor, and these are the items that we received. Now, at this point, your invoice may have some additional charges on it. Let's say uh, you have a freight charge. You may have some 
fuel surcharges or something of that nature. You can come over to the expense tab and in the case of freight, just add them here. If you've got hundred dollars in freight, add it. Update the bill to reflect what your vendor sent to you. Now you're ready to save it and close it. We have changed the transaction. We do want to record those changes. Now we have a bill in our pay bills window and if it were time to do so we could pick this bill up. If we had any discounts or credits we could set them. We're going to print this bill so that radio button is checked. The checking account is what we want to cut the check out of. So we're ready to pay the bill. Pay the bill. The bill goes then into our print checks queue and we could print checks from this point or we could just click done. I'm going to click done. So that's it. Uh, you've ordered items from your from your vendor. We created a purchase order. We received them into the point of sale which sent over an item receipt. We got a bill from our vendor. We then compared that with our item receipt, made any adjustments necessary, changed that to a bill in the system and we got our vendor paid.